What's going on beautiful people? If you didn't hear the news today, Marshawn Lynch aka Beast Mode is going to make his return to the NFL in the 2017-2018 season. He's going to be playing for the Oakland Raiders. He was traded and his rights were traded from the Seattle Seahawks to the Oakland Raiders. The Seattle Seahawks are going to be getting 2018 draft picks, I think in the later rounds, and the Raiders get Marshawn Lynch. They're going to sign him for a base salary of $3 million, and if he rushes for over 1,000 yards, he's going to be getting an extra $2 million. The last time Marshawn Lynch was in a Madden game was Madden 16. So, I took the liberty of trying to make him in Madden 17 just so we can have some sort of idea of what he's going to look like. It's not perfect, it's not excellent, but you know what? He's donning the silver and black uniform with the blacked out visor. So, one thing that's going to impact Marshawn Lynch's ratings is simply his age. He's 31 years old and a running back has a 4-5 to five year shelf life before they're completely used up and are out of their prime. So that could affect his ratings, mainly his speed ratings. He's from Oakland, California, so this is really a return home story. I made him number 24. I don't know if he's actually going to be that just yet. He could be something completely different and have that new fresh start. Now the last time we had measurables of Marshawn Lynch, he was 5'11", 215 pounds. He had the year off, so this could be him being 225 pounds or 220 pounds. We just don't know yet. It just depends on if he was staying with the workout regimen and if he was eating and sticking with it. So I think we're either going to see him at 215 or 225. But he could always cut weight. I just think initially he's going to be a little bit heavier than what he is you know, two years ago. Marshawn Lynch is built like a linebacker. He's built like a bowling ball. He has a low center of gravity, which helps him run. He is a ripped. He has jackhammers for arms, and that's going to help his stiff arm ability and his strength. Of course, as I said, he has the dark out visors, and that's going to work really well, I believe, with the silver and black uniform. Now, for what you guys have been waiting for, let's look at his ratings and what I think his ratings are going to be initially in Madden 18. Leave the comments down below what you guys think his ratings will be. Leave what you think his overall rating would be, mainly. For me, I think he's going to be anywhere between an 85 and a 90. Where he last left off in Madden 16, he was the best running back overall at a 96. So I think he's going to decrease initially, and it just depends on how he handles entering back in to the NFL. Strength is one thing that deteriorates over time, especially if you don't keep up with working out. So in Madden 16, he was an 89. I believe that's going to drop a little bit, probably to an 85 and 87, but he's still, he has arms for stiff arms. He has jackhammers to throw at you. As I said earlier, with age, with aging comes loss of speed, especially for running backs. Now he may be fresh and that may help him. In Madden 16, his agility rating was an 87. So here I bumped him down to an 83, and you're going to see the trend here where I took his speed down, mainly things that dealt with speed and acceleration. So in Madden 16, his speed was an 85, which they consider to be pretty average for a running back. I only bumped him down to an 84, so he's still pretty average in that regard. The main difference for his speed is the acceleration. He was an 88 in Madden 16, I bumped him down to an 85. The great thing about Marshawn Lynch is his ball carrying ability, his ball carrying vision, and his awareness. In Madden 16, he was a 97 overall, so I made him a 93 in this one. You don't really lose awareness or that vision, because that vision is just completely a gift. It may take him a few games to get back to the feel of the game and the speed of the game, but I still think he's going to have pretty high awareness, and he's going to have pretty high ball carrying vision. His carrying was a 94. I bumped that down to a 90. I don't think he's going to lose too much there. He'll either be in the upper 80s or lower 90s. Pass blocking, I pretty much kept the same as, same as run blocking. Jumping wise, he was an 84. I just bumped that down too, to an 82. All right, trucking. This is the signature of beast mode. Trucking wise, he's pretty good at trucking. He was a 98. He was a 98 in Madden 16. And that's one of the biggest places 
where I think he's going to lose the most stats in the beginning. He has to regain that trucking ability, that ability to run over defenders. Elusiveness, I bumped that down to an 88, it was a 91. Ball carrier vision, as I said, that you don't really lose that too much. So he was a 98, I bumped that down to a 91, just initially, just to make sure that I cover my bases because I don't think he's going to lose that ability. I just think it's going to take a little bit of time for him to regain that. And this is based off what I think he's initially going to be in the first release of Madden 18, in the first roster release of Madden 18. Another big place where I dropped down his rating was the stiff arm. It was a 99, one of the best, probably the best in Madden 16. I dropped that down to an 88, but you know what? Having talked it out, he has some pretty big arms. He's a run, running back that can truck. He's a running back that can break tackles. And that's his MO, breaking tackles and juking. And that's why he's such a great running back, because he can do those things. But I jumped... I dropped his stiff arm to a 90, and it was a 99. His spin move is an 86, according to what I think it's going to be. But you know what? Let's actually bump that down a few, too. I'm just going to take that down one. It was an 87 in Madden 16. Juke move was a 94. I think it's going to be upper 80s, probably around an 88. Impact blocking, spectacular catch. I kept those pretty much the same. Now, the main thing, and one of the main things, is bringing down his stamina at the beginning because his stamina is not going to be there he has to take time to get used to the nfl again overall i said his score would be an 86 and i still think it's going to be in that 85 to 86 range i bumped his juke move back up but i think he's going to be an 86 to an 88 overall just in the beginning or an 86 to a 90 overall in the beginning once again, ladies and gentlemen, let me know where you think I got this wrong. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think he's going to be overall. So, I'll catch you next time. Stay frosty. And remember, I love you.